For those who think true love is for the birds, you are absolutely right. CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road for an update on his most popular story of the year. To me, some of the saddest tombstones are the incompletes, the couples where one has passed, but the other still present, buried above under a mound of loneliness, <laughs> such as the case of Blossom the Goose. As we first reported last March, Blossom lost her mate, Bud. They'd lived on the pond here at Riverside Cemetery in Marshalltown, Iowa. And according to cemetery staff, after Bud died, Blossom's grief was as evident as any human's. Her behavior was just, it was quite a change. General Manager Dory Tommen says Blossom started hanging out near the front office, always staring at herself in the glass or the model tombstones. She wanted company. Even if it's just a reflection. Yeah. And that's when Dory got a crazy idea, a hysterically lovely, crazy idea. She posted a personal ad that read in part, Lonely widowed domestic goose seeks life partner for companionship and occasional shenanigans. I'm youthful, adventurous, and lively. I and mean, what are the odds you're gonna find some goose, a male goose? Oh, in Iowa? <laughs> Apparently this state is lousy with bachelor geese. And sure enough, she got a call from Deb and Randy Hoyt, owners of a widower goose named Frankie. He needed a mate. Yeah, and plus he, he's so lonely. You know, I thought, well, that will be great, you know. And so they set up a blind date where Blossom welcomed Frankie with open wings. They started walking off together and they haven't really left each other's side since. After our first report, which garnered more than 6 million views on Facebook, visitors flocked to see the couple. People sent them goose gifts and even fan mail all in appreciation for the lovely reminder to lonely humans everywhere that until your last day is etched in stone, don't ever give up on finding goosebumps. Steve Hartman on the road in Marshalltown, Iowa.